Fund Supermart, your online gateway to unit trusts. Hi Charles, what is the 2015 outlook for the US equity market? Our view would be that it will be an ugly five, and that's to reference that we think the market will be up, but there'll be more volatility and it'll require a stronger sense of fortitude to live with the volatility. And that view is driven by our expectations that we think earnings will be up 5% roughly for the year. Are U.S. equity valuations expensive now? I would say they are not necessarily expensive. They are certainly more expensive than they've been in the past. Of course, the S&P, as measured by one market, is up 75% over the last three years, and earnings certainly haven't kept up with that. I'd say ex um, earnings expectations are, are somewhat more aggressive than they've been in the past. So I'd say closer to expensive than cheap, but not necessarily very expensive. Is it a good time to invest in U.S. equity long shot strategy now? We would say yes, um, mostly against the view that we think our strategy is well designed to benefit from volatility, both on the long side of the portfolio and on the short side. We use volatility on the long side of the portfolio to build up positions. We, we typically take a two to five year time horizon on the long side of the book. And of course, with volatility on the short side, it in enhances the probability that we'll actually make money from betting against securities going down in value. How does a long shot strategy better protect investors' money during market downturn? Our philosophy is around participate and protect. The participate is to try and make money um, being long biased as the market goes up, and then we'd, we'd hope that our short book would go down in value in, in market downturns. It's, a, it's been our experience that in, in, draw, in drawdowns in the S&P, our portfolio historically has gone down significantly less than the overall market. That's a function of our net exposures, as well as the contribution that our short book um, is making to the overall portfolio. And so we'll have profits on the short book that'll dampen the losses we experience on the long side of the portfolio. Does the impending normalization of US monetary policy spell increased volatility for US equities? Well, we're all waiting for that to evolve. We've been waiting a long time. I think we'll, we'll continue to wait longer than most expect. There's no question that the amount of liquidity um, being injected into the system is unprecedented. And of, and of course, there's no, uh, and therefore the challenge of unwinding liquidity will be an unprecedented challenge as well. And our anticipation will be that it'll, it'll, it's hard to imagine that it'll happen in a perfectly straight line. And against that, we'd anticipate a whole lot more volatility, possibly in the fixed income markets first and foremost. And the challenge will be, does that volatility roll over into the equity markets as well? What are the potential risks we could face going forward for 2015? And how is your strategy positioned to mitigate against this risk? Well, of course, for us, the risk is always in the unknown. Um, it's not the things that we worried about today, which would be what impact do oil prices have on underlying value? What does a strong dollar impact have on un underlying future earnings? How does the ECB rate shock or action on quantitative uh, easing influence global markets? It's really the things that we haven't seen and that we're going to have to respond to. We generally uh, don't try and move our net exposure around a lot, and we, and we let the facts speak for themselves. And I, I like to say um, we'll know it when we see it. In general, of course, in that environment, we hope that our short book goes down in value. And if it goes down in value, we'll be making money, and that'll offset some of the losses we may experience on the long side of the portfolio. So our whole framework is you make more money by losing less, it's about compounding of return, and it's to make sure that the drawdown or the amount of money we lose in a, in, a, in a market retrenchment is as little as possible. And if that happens, over time, we'll get to a much higher place uh, in, in a sooner amount of time.